Okay, I had made a comment about a uh, start assist on a compressor where people were putting hard start kits on their compressors and I had heard from uh, one of the manufacturers years ago that they did not recommend hard start kits. Uh, they said you could put them on if, if you had a uh, TXV expansion valve or something like that, but uh, they did not necessarily recommend you put them on because of the uh, starting torque pushes the windings back. See, if that compressor starts and the rotor starts to rotate, well, the windings are pushed back with the same amount of force that the rotor is pushed forward. And they were saying that this could move the windings and eventually damage the windings so that they jerk each time it starts. And I thought I'd see if I could figure this out and see if there was any way I could tell that these windings are moving. So here's our compressor all hooked up and ready to go. Okay, this view is uh, showing another view of it. This is all slow motion here, and you can hear the sound on this one. Uh, the rumble is the uh, power coming on. Uh, you can look for any uh, movement. did notice something interesting on this. This is a picture of the end of the shaft. Now, these things only have two bearings, one at the end of the compressor and the other at the motor. It's a real heavy one at the motor, but they don't have one at the other end of the motor uh, where the shaft just sticks out like this. And the problem I saw was this thing actually moves. Uh, it moves more when uh, it has start caps on it rather than just the run cap uh, but it moves both times and I got some slow motion ones uh, and it'll kind of show you how this thing does move but uh, I'm not sure it really makes any difference uh, maybe a little harder on a bearing or something but that's all I could think of but uh, go ahead and watch it move Okay, this is uh, done in slow motion so you can see a little easier. That's the amp draw of this thing when it's uh, fired up. And it looks like we're running pretty close to 120 amps uh, when everything's said and done. Uh, it doesn't make any difference whether you're uh, uh, running uh, 
this hard start or not, it won't make any difference. So the conclusion is, uh, hard start kits are probably a good idea. They do not appear to damage anything, and they get the motor started up faster, which reduces amp draw, which reduces uh, the uh, excessive overheating of the windings. So I think uh, hard start kits are probably a good idea, and uh, so uh, I won't call this uh, super scientific, but uh, it did kind of show, uh, you know, it's possible there could be some problems with windings, but I couldn't see anything. Only thing I could see is that small movement in the shaft. So uh, that's it in this little one, and uh, we're going to test this thing out next video. Uh, we're going to test this thing to fail.